How do you write songs? Find out on the video this week. So last week I taught you how it is that I play the guitar, and this week I'm going to show you how it is I come up with the songs that I've written. In my years of being a musician, I've probably written, I don't know, 200 or so songs, I bet. There's going to be a lot that I have probably forgotten at this point in time. But uh, I've written a lot of songs, and I've written those songs in a lot of different ways. I'm not perfect. Just like with the How I Play Guitar video, I don't have the formula. I don't know that um, I'm going to tell you the surefire way to write a fantastic song. I'm just going to tell you how I write the songs that I've written and how I come to the conclusions I do with those songs. I'm going to keep it short and simple this week and tell you three ways that I come up with my songs. And so the first one is having a, uh, a line in my head. Uh, and so the example I have uh, next to me here is When It's Gone. That's a song that I wrote that was fairly popular uh, with a lot of people when I posted it online for the first time. And that song came about from me actually, I think I was lying in bed and I had just this line in my head that was, she's a devil, a supervillain, can't be trusted without supervision. And it's just one of those lines where, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that's when I knew I was God's gift to music. Uh, but that line hit my head and I go, cool, I like that. Um, that should go in a song somewhere. And so from there you decide, is that the chorus of the song? Is that something I want to repeat over and over again that I want the crowd to sing with me? Or is that a line that maybe kicks the song off? Uh, maybe that's the beginning of the song. And specifically for When It's Gone, that's the opening line of the song. She's a devil, a super villain. Can't be trusted without supervision And I'm in trouble by opinion Can't be trusted with learning my lesson So that's how I came up with that song. It was just from that one line. And actually, after I had that line in my head, I thought, okay, where does that go? And I started writing the next few words. And uh, as I was getting that, I started to get a melody going. And then uh, from there I said, you know, uh, I actually, we were cleaning the house and I kept hearing. I thought, that's perfect. That's easy. She's a devil, a super villain. Can't be trusted without supervision. And there you go. The rest is history. The second way that I would write a song sometimes is having, maybe I don't have a phrase yet, maybe I don't have any words or a theme in mind of what I want to write about, but I've got a guitar part that I just keep playing and playing over and over again. And the example that I have here next to me is my song called Changing. So one day I'm home alone sitting on the couch and I start playing just simply a C major chord and walking it down to an A minor and then a G major chord and then an F major chord, uh, and then I added in kind of this little melody at the end that I thought sounded really pretty, and it sounded like this. And I had a song right there. I thought, I've got to make a song with that. And so that's how Changing came to be. And with this particular song and this particular guitar part, I think I sat on the couch and I said, I'm not leaving this couch until I've got a melody uh, and some words. And so I sat on that couch, and I'll tell you right now, here's how the song kind of built itself. And this is how I build a lot of my songs, is singing nonsense, or just, you know, singing um, a vowel sound. So, <laughs> I know that I'm going to sing whatever the... Um, whenever I get to that, but how do I get to that? And so it just made sense to sing that way. Um, and then eventually I had, obviously the melody with the guitar is the important part of the song. And so I've got to think, what, what am I singing right there? Because that's the, the focal point of the song, obviously. 
and I decided something that you know is that seems important or will grab your attention is I am not changing. I am not changing for you. And that's how uh, the song Changing was made. The next way that I have is having a melody first. Um, this happens probably the least often out of everything that I do. Um, but sometimes I don't necessarily have words. And I don't necessarily have a guitar part that I've been playing around over and over again. Sometimes I just, you know, uh, the example I have here is my song Lonely. And if you've ever heard that song, uh, there's a part essentially in the verse where, go, where it goes... And I thought, man, I've got to add that in there. Uh, and I think I was watching a friend of mine play a video game, actually, when I was just off on my own. And uh, from there, you think, okay, what chords could you play um, that would fit that melody that I had? So I had that down, and then uh, I thought, now think of something cool to say. Um, and so I thought, let's do something silly. So, you know me, I love to be lonely. Love leaves me, I can't find it lately. And I would repeat that. And originally the song was super fast. Um, you know me, I love to be lonely. Love leaves me, I can't find it lately. Um, and so that was lonely, and then I added some more to it and a couple high notes and... Um, that's essentially it. That's how I wrote Lonely. Sometimes these songs, I you know, again, like I said, with the song that I wrote called Changing, that took me maybe two days to sit down and just really pour out. I had the words on my heart and on my mind, and I just sat down and wrote them out. Um, with When It's Gone, it was the same thing. I wrote that in a day. I said, oh, I've got it. I've got it recorded. I've, I've got the lyrics. I've got the guitar parts. I've got everything I want. Let's do it. Sometimes you'll have a guitar part that you think is really neat and maybe every time you pick up the guitar you play those chords or that um, picking tune that you made up but you just never can get the words to it or a melody going or anything and then time passes and uh, if you're like me I've got on my phone I have the notes app on my phone and I al already I have different sentences and phrases and things that I maybe misheard or read somewhere that I changed around and thought, well, isn't this interesting? Maybe that's a line or a phrase I want to put in a song later. And then a year or two down the road, you're playing around with that guitar idea you had and you go, wait, what if I took this punchline that I had a year ago and I take this guitar part I had two years ago and tried to make a song out of it? And sometimes it works out beautifully and sometimes it just doesn't work out. And you wait until you get the good punchline that goes with it. And I've had songs that have taken me, um, you know, since I started playing guitar when I was 10, and it's taken me, you know, 15 years to put a song together. It happens. Um, that's kind of the beauty of song making. Uh, and not the next video, but the two videos coming after that, we'll talk about some songs I wrote that I really like. And I wrote some songs that I really don't like very much, but it's worth your time to write good songs and to write bad songs good poems, bad poems, whatever it is, take the time to make some content, to take what's on your heart or on your mind um, and put it down, pen to paper, um, or sing it out if you can't say it. Either way, um, it's fun to write a song. I would give it a shot best you can. Um, that's how I write songs. Uh, maybe that can give you a little bit of insight on how to write a song as well. I hope it helps at least a little bit. Um, and speaking of songs, uh, here's another one that I wrote.
that was who I meant to be I would have been that person for sure So I try to be a little more I try to be a little more you Of all the ways to show someone you care about them What would you do? It happens almost naturally To be like someone that you're with What an awful tragedy I don't know who I am when you go So I try to be a little more I try to be a little more me So much less to think about I practice it alone in my sleep Sure I've got my problems and my issues That I just can't resolve Behind closed doors I'm so much more I have the strength to give in my Try to be a little more, I try to be a little more me. I'll try to be a little more, I try to be a little more me. Try to be a little more, I try to be a little more me. I'll try to be a little more, try to be a little more, try to be a little more me.